Hello and welcome to Spoken English Videos by Arrow Publications. I'm your Spoken English Trainer Padmini and in today's video lesson, I'm going to tell you something very interesting. It's about how you can make some expressions more polite. Well, it is always very good to be polite and use polite language. But sometimes we can sound a little rude or harsh or even insensitive when we use some words. So how can you make your language more polite by using polite expressions? These polite words or polite expressions are called euphemisms. It makes the impolite or the harsh or the rude word sound better, sound more polite. So we are going to do something about euphemisms in today's video. So let's get started. The first word is died. When someone dies, we say she died. But it's a very impolite and a harsh way of saying. To use the word died is not very polite. So instead of died, we use the euphemism, she passed away. So it's always better to use passed away instead of died. So the euphemism of died is passed away. So next time, do use passed away instead of died because it sounds better, it sounds more polite. Now the second word, let's look at the second word. If somebody is poor, you mustn't say he's poor because it doesn't sound very, very sensitive. It sounds very insensitive in fact. So instead of saying he's poor, you could say he's economically disadvantaged. He is economically disadvantaged. So that way you are being very, very polite. Now the third one is about going to the toilet. We don't say go to the toilet because it sounds quite unpleasant to hear this. So instead of saying go to the toilet, it's always nice to say I want to go to the washroom or the restroom. So next time use the words washroom or restroom instead of toilet. And the next word is about old. When somebody is old, it's not nice to call the person old. It's always nice to say he is a senior citizen or he is an elderly person. It is not polite to call somebody old. Never say he is an old man or she is an old woman. So next time use the word senior citizen instead of old or you could also use he is an elderly person. So that way you are being polite. The next word is the garbage man or the trash man. Now every day some people come and collect all the garbage from the dustbins. We should not call them as garbage man or trash man. A nice way is to call them sanitation worker. This gives them more dignity. So call them sanitation worker. And the next one is fat. When you say somebody is fat, they may not like it. In fact, it sounds very rude to say or call someone fat. So what is a better way to call someone fat or say somebody is fat? It's nice to say she is a little heavy. She is a little heavy. But don't say fat because it's not polite and nobody would like that. And the next one is about the word handicapped. There may be people who may not be able to walk properly or who may not be able to use the hands properly or some part of the body is disabled. So you cannot call the person as handicapped because it would sound very, very harsh and impolite. So a polite way of referring to such people is differently abled. So when you're referring 
to a handicapped person a better way would be to say he is differently abled and if a person has got a mental disorder has got a mental problem don't call the person as mentally retarded you can say he is mentally challenged he is mentally challenged don't call him as mentally retarded that would sound very very impolite and nobody likes to hear impolite words now if there is a person who is unemployed who is not working now it's very very impolite again to say he is unemployed so what is the best way to refer to such a person who has no job just say he is between jobs he is between jobs when you say he is between jobs that means he is actually unemployed and when somebody is very rich instead of calling them rich you can call them well off or well to do well off and well to do is a subtle word it's a sober word instead of saying rich which sounds very very big and bombastic it sounds very grand you can use the word well off or well to do because that will not hurt a person who is poor so use the word well off or well to do for a rich person and the next word is very important when some lady is pregnant we don't say she is pregnant pregnant is a slightly a loud word it's not manners to call the lady pregnant a better way to call the lady is to say she is in the family way she is in the family way means pregnant it's a better word it sounds better and sounds nice and it also means the same as pregnant and the next when you want to talk about husband or wife you say he is my husband or she is my wife instead of using the words husband or wife you can use the word better half you can use the word better half she is my better half or she is my spouse and another word when there is a person who is deaf and cannot hear do not call the person as deaf it's very very rude you can say he is hearing impaired hearing impaired hearing impaired means he cannot hear properly similarly if there is a person who is blind don't say he is blind instead of that you can use a better word visually challenged visually challenged means the person cannot see so these are some words and here when somebody is very fat i said you can use heavy and somebody is wearing very very big clothes big sized clothes you must use the word plus size you must use the word plus size when you are talking about clothes that are very big and that are used by a very fat person and another interesting euphemism is when you are talking about the bad sweat smell that comes from someone sometimes we are sweaty because of the hot sun we are sweaty when it is very humid and when we get a lot of sweat we can smell bad now you mustn't say if somebody smells bad you shouldn't say you're smelling bad you smell bad and you, there's a lot of sweat smell from you you must instead say instead say it's body odor instead of sweat smell you say body odor he's got a body odor or i have a body odor and another such interesting word is when somebody's mouth smells bad it is possible somebody might have some bad smell coming from the mouth we cannot say directly that he smells bad his mouth smells bad you must instead say he has a bad breath he has a bad breath and the next one is if someone is homeless when someone is homeless they don't have a home you can't say he's a homeless person instead you can see he's on the streets you can say he is on the streets and one more euphemism i like is for the word dull 
You mustn't call anybody dull or stupid. Who is a dull or a stupid person who is not capable of learning or very fast? So instead of calling the person dull or stupid, just call the person a slow learner. When you call the person a slow learner, we are being a little kind to that person. We are trying to be polite to the person. And one more word, arrested. When you say he was arrested by the police, arrested is a strong word. So you can say he was taken into custody, which sounds better. He was taken into custody. So instead of saying arrested, the euphemism will be taken into custody. And the last euphemism. Suppose somebody is removed from the job. Somebody is dismissed from the job. Sometimes when you don't work well or when I don't work well, we are removed from our jobs. You should not say he has been removed from the job. You must put it in a pleasant way, in a polite way. You must say he was fired. He was fired. Okay. So these are some of the words that are euphemisms that are better ways to express your ideas in a polite manner because everybody loves to listen to polite words, pleasant words and we can avoid blunt language, harsh language, impolite language or language that is very insensitive by using these euphemism. I am sure you enjoyed learning this euphemisms and you will put them into practice by using them in your daily communication. And I'm sure you'll become more and more polite in the way you express your ideas. And people will love to listen to you because you're very polite. So do like, share and subscribe to our videos. And I will be back soon with my next video by Arrow Publications. Until then, Goodbye.